Have you ever wanted to make a table or a piece of furniture so big and stout that it could hold an engine block or stub your toe on it? Yeah, me too. But today's build is not for a customer, but for a woodworking competition. And the wood I'm gonna use is this river rescued sinker juniper, hundreds of years old. And this build is gonna challenge me. So we're gonna need to toss a board over our shoulder for luck. And here's the design that I came up with. Pretty unique, right? Five woodworkers entered this contest and we're gonna be based on uniqueness, creative concepts and design. And in the end, donate it to a family. And the judge of the competition was this carpenter. Maybe you've heard of him before. Let's get busy. After chopping my pieces, I needed to do the lamination process. Basically turned a skinny board into a big fat one, all by using glue and clamps. What a cool process. I used to see big beams and wonder, how can I get my hands on those to make tables? And then I met this woodworker. He was retired, very experienced, and he taught me all about this lamination process and why it's actually better and why furniture is actually made this way when you want big, thick stuff. So after learning that technique, it kind of changed the game for me. And this mold, this is what's gonna help me have repeatability with this table. It was definitely crucial. And I gotta say, the daggum mold took me probably longer than the lamination process. But let's take a beat. Let me explain. This video is actually many years old and this woodworking competition was many, many years old. And this is the first time I'm really telling the story of this build. So you may be wondering by now, how did I do? Did I win? Did the family love it that was supposed to receive it? Well, I'm embarrassed to say that I lost the competition. In fact, my table didn't even rank in the top three, and this was only out of five participants. Whoa. And the family that was supposed to receive it wouldn't even accept the build. They hated it. Wow. I thought I had this one in the bag, but I've always been the underdog in life. You see, losing is something I'm very familiar with. In fact, I've entered six woodworking competitions in my professional career and I have lost all six. Geez, talk about a punch in the face. This kind of brings back memories of my younger self when I was in high school and I wanted to play basketball. I tried every year to make the point guard position on the team and every year I failed. One year, the coach even told me that our school was gonna play a practice game against a rival school and that my play would determine my fate. I scored 24 points, four assists, and one rebound, and again, I didn't make the team. So yeah, losing, it's just a part of life. And in life, if you choose to put yourself out there, then you have to deal with being judged fairly and unfairly. That's just the way it is. And losing this competition, man, it really was a hurt. It really kind of crushed my woodworking spirit and temporarily put me in a horrible mindset, but I didn't let it stop me. And before you know it, a lot of people saw me making this table and the whole process and my social media started to take off. Then my business changed and I started to become known as the guy who just makes huge pieces of furniture. Wow, what a roller coaster ride this journey has been and building these pieces, what an experience. And where I thought this style table was such a loser, it turned out to be a massive success. A five-star resort reached out and ordered this one, but round. And they paid me 10 grand for it. And then a wealthy airline owner ordered this one as a breakfast table for himself. And again, paid me 10 grand. And it keeps going. A multi-generational farmer ordered this one for 10 grand from me as well. My tables even made it to a magazine. But this story is not about money or success. It's about never giving up and always having love in your heart. So you have to ask yourself, did I win or did I lose?